In this video, I'm going to show you six Step 22 bags. I haven't seen YouTube videos for a lot of them, so hopefully this answers some of your questions that you may have before you purchase them. Overall, I've been really happy with my six Step 22 bags, and I would recommend all of them. This is the Rhino Rigamarole, and this is a gigantic bag. It's just an empty bag, and it has zippers on both sides. So this is how tall it is. It's out of the camera's scope, but there we go. It is huge. I never know what to put in this bag. So... You can open it like this, which makes it much easier to take things out of the bag or put things in. And for size reference, I have two ski boots. The two ski boots are still way shorter than the length of the bag. You can fit two ski boots a toe strap, and then throw in a Helinox camping chair. You still have enough room to close the whole bag. That's how big this thing is. The next step to keep it closed, you would roll it and then take these straps and buckle them down. And then here are the handles. Now let's say you don't have things that could fill this entire bag, which I never have enough. So I end up putting things that are shorter like this you close the bag. You fold it really tight all the way down. Then you do the same thing. So now you have a much smaller bag. These straps are really long now, but that's okay. You can also hold it from these straps. This thing is just filled with straps. It even has straps on the side to carry it like that, or like that. And would I recommend this bag? I would say yes. However, if you manage to fill it, this thing will be extremely heavy. The canvas, whatever this is made of, is extremely thick. There's no way this thing is ever going to rip. The next bag is the Tamarin Trunk. This is also just an empty duffel bag. It's pretty thin, it's very long. And the only pocket in this bag is this mesh pocket. And for reference of what you can fit in here, it fits the tortoise toiletry bag and the Tenkyle pe ten tech patch. Now, you can squeeze a lot more in here. Uh, it does have some stretch to it. However, you really can't fit anything that's too big in this. I think this works great for these little pouches just to keep them organized. Another thing that I use this for is cooking supplies when I'm camping in the Jeep. This would fit plates, uh, those camping plates and bowls pretty well. And then in this, I would usually keep cooking supplies such as uh, spices, sponges, napkins, anything like that. 
And for another size reference, here is the Helinox camping chair along with these two pouches. So you can see that it pretty much is the length of the Tamarin trunk. It is now a little too thick. I can get this to close. This is probably the most you can fit in this bag. This bag has handles on all sides, has a handle here, here, on the back, and on this side. And it also has loops all over it if you want to use a carabiner to hook something to this. There, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight carabiner loops. This is the tortoise toiletry bag. And this is the Tenkyle, Tenkel, I don't know how to pronounce it, tech pouch. These bags are interesting because the zipper wraps around the bag. And you have a ton of room in this thing. So pocket, pocket, three more pockets. This pouch is just huge. I'm always surprised by how much this, this bag can carry. Another pouch, I usually keep a toothbrush in here. And this could be removed if you wanted. I don't ever remove it though. Now this pouch is basically the same thing, just with different pockets. So in here I have a charging brick, cables, charging brick, cables. Here's a zippered compartment. I usually keep AirPods. Now you could fit a lot more than this in here. I just don't have anything else to put. Then you have space right here. I usually keep my GoPro just laying around here. So this zipper pouch right here, I can put my GoPro in here. And I can access it from this zipper in here. Now, when this bag is filled, it's pretty difficult to fit bulky items in this zipper. As you can see, it, this fabric is very thick and seems very durable, but that makes it hard to fit bulkier items in here. So this would fit AirPods pretty well or anything of that size. Now, if the bag has nothing in it, you'd be able to force this to go in, but if it is full, you'd only be fitting thin items in here. It does have hooks to attach this, to hang it up somehow, I've never done that. Now it has a lot of carabiner loops, it has four, uh, those are also carabiner loops, it has eight, nine, 10, four, eight, 12, and that's it. I really like these bags. This is the best toiletry bag I have ever had. Not that I've had too many of them, but I would highly recommend this one. I'd highly, highly recommend this as well. I have seen a video, someone fit their Sony A7 camera in this. I don't know how he did that. I tried. Maybe my lenses are too big. 
And it's really annoying having to remove lenses every time you want to put your camera away. So I would not use this as a camera bag, but it can be done. Next is the Stingray Mini Flat Box. The zippers on this thing are really thick. It seems very high quality. What this fits perfectly is my jet boil. And it has a ton of room for these fuel canisters. And on the other side, I keep the pour over grinder and obviously you can see that you have a ton of room to spare. You can move this divider anywhere in the bag because it has the velcro strips all around it. Step 22 does sell a panel that can attach right here for more carabiner loops or I believe they're tight so you could fit a fork or knife or whatever there. I don't have that. They also have a zipper compartment here. I keep pour over filters, napkins. This is pretty thin. You could stretch it, but the zipper here doesn't seem as sturdy as the bottom, so I probably wouldn't do that. As with all of their bags, they have handles here, 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 none on the back, another on that side. I really like this bag. I would highly recommend it. Here's the Pangolin tool, tool roll. Now it seems there's a lot of other videos on YouTube on this bag, but I will show you anyways and show you how I have it set up. There is a drawstring here to keep this open or keep it shut. And then you pull this tab to open it. And then you can flip this out like that. This, I don't like keeping Velcroed because I'm constantly removing my wrenches. So there we go. That's what I have in this. It's super easy to take out and roll. Very thick and durable. Then I just leave that right there. In this pouch, I have impact wrench, various attachments. And here I have vice grips. Now this can, this pouch can fit a lot more. I just don't have it filled. And this one, a whole lot of various items, screwdrivers, pliers, scissors, Allen heads. And here I have different kind of tape, Loctite. These pockets are pretty thin. It's kind of hard to fit things in here. And then there's this hidden pocket, which is actually huge. However, also it's pretty hard to fit anything with thickness in this because it'd be hard to zip this shut and then roll it. Usually in here I just have microfiber tow towels and nylon gloves. Now they advertise this part of the bag as a place that you can just throw your tools if you're out on the trail. And I did actually, I did actually use that feature while I noticed that one of my shocks were loose while off-road and it worked really well. It did get some dirt in it. However, you could totally wash this bag, or not wash it, but 
it'd be pretty easy to clean this bag off of, with dirt and it's very durable. And then when you're done, you roll it, and then it fits right back in. Tighten that down. This is a super cool bag. I would highly recommend it. And I would imagine this thing will probably last a lifetime. I really like my Step 22 bags. As you can see, I have a ton of them. I've just slowly kept acquiring them over the course of the past year. I would highly recommend all of them. I've never had an issue with any of them. They all seem extremely durable and I think they'll last a really long time. So let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.